News, Katie Unis in Berkeley tonight with the new recommendations for healthy eating. Katie? Frank, the recommendations from this panel will help shape the food pyramid. We all remember the food pyramid from grade school, but part of the challenge now will be relearning what is good for us. I'm going to cook until it smells really good. Many of us don't make the cut. I cannot cook at all when it comes to keeping up with ever-evolving food guidelines. Cholesterol gets his bad name. Certified nutrition consultant Lisa Miller says part of her job is dispelling old guidelines, like avoiding cholesterol. Eggs, dairy, milk, uh, red meat, fish, all of those have good cholesterol on them. So he's going to see if it's thinking. Kitchen on Fire in Berkeley holds packed classes with people trying to catch up on what they should put in their cards. New recommendations from the Dietary Guidelines Advisory Committee ease up on prior restrictions for fat and cholesterol. They also suggest focusing on a Mediterranean-style diet rich in fruits, vegetables, nuts, and fish, something Miller says she and others have taught for a while. We're really happy about it because it actually reduces our education that we need to do with people. Experts say Americans have focused too much on calories and fat, and in effort to reduce those intakes have replaced it with processed foods and too much sugar. They say, put this back on the shelf. Low-fat muffins, they might have like 56 grams of sugar. The panel focused heavily on our sugar dependence, saying Americans consume about double what we should. A habit Mimi Vitetta is hoping to squelch. I have a really bad sweet tooth. So, <laughs> I'm aware of that. Correcting our culinary ways just requires a little retraining in the grocery store and kitchen. Fats carry flavor. If you eat a low-fat diet, you actually need more sugar rather than having the fats that are actually helping you metabolize all those things. All lessons this cooking class will take back to their families. The things that our body doesn't know what to do with, it turns it into fat. These recommendations will now go to the Department of Health and the Department of Ag. Those agencies will set the official guidelines. And Frank, while the Bay Area may be very health conscious, these guidelines are important because it sets the tone nationwide. Sure does. Uh, Katie Eunice in Berkeley tonight. Katie, thank you. Taking earthquake preparedness into your own hands, a new program.